Welcome to Twisted Liquid RC Boats. Good day everyone and welcome back to Twisted Liquid RC Boats. Today on the channel we're going to take the Enforcer Demon Hydroplane back out to the pond for another blast. We're slowly getting the tuning done on this boat and working all the little bugs out of it. It's not perfect yet, but more pan time, which is what's needed, will get us where we want to get to in the long run. We hope you enjoy today's video. As always, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Everybody take care out there, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Okay guys, before I leave you today, there's a couple things I'd like to review with you about the Enforcer Demon Hydroplane and the two videos that you just watched in this episode. Those two videos are the same run, one view from the boat and one view from shore. In the two videos, did you notice that the boat almost completely stalled out, coming out of the last turn on the last lap? Also, in the first video, you probably noticed that I included a G-meter down in the right-hand corner of the screen with my GoPro camera. The reason I done that, guys, is because I wanted you to see the forces and the G-load that act on this boat as it's running and working in water. This is why I do all of my testing at a pond and not with a boat sitting stationary on a stand with a water line on it. 
you need to put the forces that act on this boat as it's running and working on it to see if your setup is correct and done right. Now guys, when I got home from the pond that day, I knew I had a slight problem inside of my fuel system, and here's why. Every time I ran the boat, after about a half a dozen laps or so, the boat wanted to stall out on me. Luckily, twice, I managed to give the boat some throttle trigger action and get it back to me. But once, it completely stalled out, and I had to wait for it to float in. So when I came home, I disassembled the fuel system and inspected it. I was looking to see if there was any restrictions or any clogs, anything that would obstruct the flow of fuel from the clunk all the way to the engine. I took the carburetor apart. It was completely mint and clean inside. Everything was perfect. I checked all the fuel lines in the fuel filter. Everything was mint clean. But when I got back to my gas tank, guys, I noticed that my clunk was after repositioning itself inside of the gas tank. When I initially built the boat, I set it up so the clunk would be sitting on the left-hand port side of the tank. When I took the stopper out, it was sitting over in the right-hand starboard side. Now, I'm probably my own worst enemy because I made a fuel clunk with a long piece of Tigon line inside of the tank when I put the boat together. And that gave it the ability to move. As this boat is running in water, and it arcs itself through a right-hand turn. The forces in the G-load put on it slosh the fuel towards the left-hand port side of the gas tank. With the clunk sitting on the right-hand side like it was, as the boat done a few laps and fuel pushed away from the clunk, it was starving for fuel. Now, this is no different than if you were using a gas bag in this boat and you got an air bubble in your gas bag. It would cause your boat to run into an air bubble, stall out because it wasn't getting any fuel. So to prevent this in the future, guys, before I do any more testing, I'm going to get to my local hobby shop. I'm going to pick up some more brass tubing for my stopper in my gas tank. And I'm going to gradually bend and curve a hard line that's longer inside of the tank. And we'll keep the clunk positioned towards the left port hand side. I'm going to cut my Tigon down to a shorter length so it cannot wiggle and make its way over to the right starboard side. And I will merely use it on the longer brass tubing I put inside of the tank. This should stop the boat from starving for any fuel after a half a dozen laps or so. Guys, before I leave you today, I want to give you guys a huge thank you. Every video that I've produced and published on YouTube so far of the Enforcer Demon Hydroplane, the numbers are up drastically for. And I cannot thank you guys enough. You're watching, you're viewing, and I really, really appreciate it. If you look on the internet, you will not find a lot of information out there about this boat. And I can promise you that here on Twisted Liquid RC Boats, that's going to change this season. Because you guys are going to get to see all of my testing and all of my running that I do with this boat. So thank you for viewing. I cannot say thank you enough because I truly, truly appreciate it. I want you guys to all take care of yourselves out there. I want you to have a really good day. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Take care and stay safe.